Hi all, Gail Woodford here from Gaming Gems. Right, I'm going to leave horror games for a little while and I'm going to one of my other favourite genres, which is the point and clicks. Now, this game came out originally in 1998. It was a LucasArts game and it came out for the PC. And in 2014, it was remastered by Double Fine, who put it as a digital download. So I'm really looking forward to playing this again. I hope you all enjoy it as well. Please come with me now and watch Grim Fandango. <laughs> Sorry for the wait, Mr. Flores. I am ready to take you now. Take me? Take me where? Now, now. There's no need to be nervous. Nervous? No. It's just your appearance. It's a little intimidating. Intimidating? Me? But I'm your friend. My name's Manny Calavera. I'm your new travel agent. I don't want a new travel agent. I want to go home. <laughs> you can't go home, Celso. You're dead. But you're not alone. Everybody here is just as dead as you. That's why we call it the land of the dead. Are you ready for your big journey? No. What journey? The four-year journey of the soul. It is quite a big trip. And I can't lie to you, Celso. It could be very, very dangerous. Unless you were to take that money you were buried with and buy a better travel package from us. I mean, wouldn't you rather cross the land of the dead in your own sports car? Maybe try a luxury ocean cruise? Or, if you led a very good life, you may even be eligible for a ticket on the number nine itself. The number nine? That's our top of the line express train. It shoots straight to the ninth underworld, the land of eternal rest, in four minutes instead of four years. But very few people qualify. Let's take a look at your records. Hmm? Hmm. Well, the bad news is the train appears to be just out of your reach, but I still got a couple of tricks up my sleeve here. Mm-hmm. Yeah ha Yes, that's the ticket. The Excelsior Line. Yes, she's a beauty. That compass and the handle will sure come in handy, too. Oh, you're going to have a great trip. Wish I was going. Why don't you? You could give me a lift. Oh, I can't leave here until I've worked off a little debt to the powers that be. Community service, eh? Well, I guess there are some folks worse off than me. Oh, I'll be leaving here soon enough. No thanks to dead and no commission low-life cases like yours, Menso. Hey, Manny. The boss told me to tell you not to leave early tonight. He wants to talk to you about something when he gets back from his trip. Tell Don not to worry. I'm not going anywhere. Especially not with clients like that. Where do they get these guys? They don't qualify for anything good, so I can't sell anything good. I can't work off my time and I'm stuck. Stuck selling walking sticks to a bunch of burros for eternity. I need better clients. I need a real saint. I need a lead on a rich, dead saint. Hmm. ¿Qué es esto? Right, let's find Manny that good client. Let's see what's in the message tube. Right, okie dokie, the sound's buggered off, so hang on just a sec. So anyway, we've been summoned to um, a mass poisoning. Excuse me just a minute. Voice and text, that's what I wanted. No. Right, let's try it now. It's some That's sort better. of special work order. Sorry about that. Right, so off to the mass poisoning. But before we do that, 
a couple of things obviously because it's a point and click there's a lot of stuff you can look at and everything you look at you can examine there's a lot of speech but if i do that we'll be here forever so i'm just gonna go you know keep it with the story so now we're going over here um that's what i'm after better take these cards it looks like a long day of solitaire for me i'll be needing them later but i will actually need is Oh, wait a minute, I've done that wrong. This deck of cards is a little frayed around the edges. Then again, so am I. And I've got fewer suits. I'm pretty sure if I... That's it, I just need the single playing card. So, pop it away. Right, let's get Maddie out of here. Yep, okay, I can do that. I know it doesn't save automatically. That's fine. While we're here, we're gonna use the hole punch. Why? You'll find out. Manny, what are you doing? Just marking cards, honey. There we go. Right, let's get down to that poisoning. I think I got in the wrong lift. Ah, shit, yes I did. Oh, dear me. Right. That lift, Gale. Get in. There we go. There goes another DOA agent. Right, time to get me a car and a driver. Knock, knock. Hey, service. Hey, who the? Oh, sorry, sir. I didn't expect sales agents usually don't come over to this part of the garage. I'm Calavera. Manny Calavera. Always introduce My yourself. name's Gladys. I don't get many visitors. Hey! I got a message for a Mr. Calavera. Uh, your driver said that Mr. Hurley said that he could have the rest of the day off. Domino sent my driver home? Yeah, wasn't that nice? Domino is, the co is a complete shit. Looks like I need a new driver. Oh, I, uh, I, uh, I would agree with that. Yes, you do. Would you like to be my driver? You want to be my replacement driver? Me? Oh, oh, no. Sorry. Can't. Rules. Come on, Gladys. I need you to be my driver. No, I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm too big. No, you're not. The cars are just too small. You're not too big. The cars are just too small. Yeah, those dang compact cars. Hey. That gives me an idea. I could alter your car just a bit with just a quick torch job to let out the seams, you know? I'll, I'm not allowed to modify the cars without a work order from upstairs. I could lose my job. A work order, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't torch anything bigger than a cigarette without one of these signed by the boss himself. Hey, that's my line. Getting people to sign back in a snap. Yeah, too small. I'm not too big. Everything around here is just too small. Right, so get the work order signed, then he can modify it, Gladys can modify the car, and we can get our asses to the land of the dead and collect some souls. We'll have to ask the boss's secretary. She is. Not picking that up. Uh, I pressed the wrong button. I'm just getting used to the controls still. If I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. <coughs> Mr. Copel, I've got Manny Calavera out here to see you. Didn't I say no interruptions today? Eh, sorry, Cal. Maybe tomorrow. That's too late. Oh, yeah, like you're going anywhere. I can still hear her typing. It's a clever trick, that. Right, we need to get the boss to change his mind. So.
So we're going to go out into the outside world, see what's going on out there. You know what? I'm gonna have some bread. Since I really didn't get to celebrate the festival this year, I think I'm entitled to a little pan de muertos. Talk to this nice man here. Hey, what's going down, clown? Hey, back off, suit. I'm practicing. Practicing what? Ring in your neck. What does it look like? Isn't he lovely? Twist me up one of them, huh, fella? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twist this, all right? Bet you can't do a cat. Shows what you know, buddy. I can do anything. I can do birds, amphibians, famous poets. Go ahead. Name one. Hmm. Who should we have? We'll have Dingo, because it sounds like bingo. A Dingo? That's my specialty. Way. Ta-da! Some of my finest work, don't you think, Sparky? Some of my finest work, don't you think, Sparky? Yeah, yeah, give me some more. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, jeez, what now? All I want is a few dead words. Heck, that's easy. There's no limit on those. Good old, because I need a few. I was like to get three. I think I already need the two. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, oh, jeez. What now? Dead! Another dead worm, please! Do you have any more dead worms back there? Well, sure. And one more. Good luck. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, oh, jeez. What now? Do you have any more dead worms back there? Well, sure. Thank you, you miserable bugger. Right. Off down the side alley. And we're going to climb up this rope here. Careful, Manny. Right, the boss's window's open. And he's not in. So, let's have a look. It looks like Don's rigged his computer to automatically answer his intercom. Excellent. So all we need to do is change the option. Um, that one. I'll just change his auto response here. Ah, oh, great, Zeva. Just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy. Brilliant. Now, we can't go out of the office door because Ira will know what we've been up to. So, back down the rope and back in the front door. The thing about the remaster, I mean, it was never a slow game anyway. It was quick when it first came out, but it's, uh, it's still so smooth and, you know, there's not many loading times. It's absolutely brilliant. As fantastic now as it was when it first came out. Except I can't get through the door! Thank you. Right. Come on, Manny! We've got souls to claim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Thank you. What is that horrible squeaking noise you're making? Our new shoes. It's the balloons! You want one? You can't have one. They're mine. Where is this bloody work order? There it is. Bloody hell. If I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, Mr. Calavera has something out here that he says he needs your signature on. Ah, oh, great, Ava. Just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy. Thank you, Ava. You'll have to excuse him, Manny. It's probably a really hard crosswood puzzle he's got in there today. Eva, I'm impressed. I had no idea you had this kind of power. 
Well, we all have our secrets. Suave. Come on, Glottis, what have you got for me? Breathing, Glottis! There you go. Hey, I look good in this, don't I? You certainly do. Yeah, well, they say black is slimming. I'm driving, yeah! I'm driving! God, this is brilliant. Who doesn't love a driver who doesn't make the sound effects at the same time as they're driving? Brilliant. I could have walked faster than this. Ugh, híjole, I'm gonna miss the poisoning. The land of the living. There's Domino. Domino. Prick! Ooh, the living still give me the creeps. I'm gonna scare him. I like scaring him, was it? It's the fear of death that makes monsters of us all. Boom. Right, I need to get this soul out of here. So, I need... A scythe. Nice bathroom. For several travel package upgrades if you'd care to cut the yeah. I want something cheap where I can get some rest. Now that's it. Ay, ay, ay. You know, Manny, I could make this car a little faster if you wanted. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Oh, yeah. Slam the front into the weeds. Tub the rear end. Do blowers pop it out of the hood. If you know what you're talking about, because I've got a clue. You'll get plenty of rest this way, Mr. Martinez, and you'll be safely padded by the foam created when these two chemicals mix like this. Oh, on second thought, I want to upgrade my package. Sorry, Bruno, but you didn't qualify for anything better. But here, have this complimentary mug. No, wait! Uh, can't you find me something where I can move my legs? You know I'd like to, Bruno, but my boss is a real hard ass. I gotta be a hard ass when I got lazy sickle waivers like this jolly boy working for me. Manny, you couldn't find a sale at a yacht club. I got a sale right here. I'm talking premium sales, Calavera. Like the kind Domino makes. How am I supposed to make premium sales with the scumbag clients you're sending me? Hey! Now you're blaming the clients? I've had it with you, Manny. If you haven't bagged a premium before the next sales report comes in, you're out! Out on the street, no job, no way to work off your time. Just your fancy suit and your big smile and a whole lot of time to kill. Who you calling a scumbag? Why, I ought to... Yeah, shut up. <sighs> I'm sick of waiting around for a good lead. Like it's gonna fly in here tied to a brick. It's time to take one. Right, let's get him a good lead. So we need to go back in that room we were just in first. If I can remember where it is. Is it this one? I'll never get out of this place. <sighs> you and your fancy suits and your nose holes way up in the air, sticking your empty beer bottles down the message tubes. How fancy is that? Huh? Don't you boys upstairs realize the tube switcher is a sophisticated and delicate piece of machinery? Huh? You think you're better than me? No. Good. Tube switcher. Hmm. All the monsters here do the uh, the menial work. Or the mechanical. Um, anything mechanical, it's up to them too. Like Glottis and my kid. Right. This is the room I need to come back to, but I can't get in that door just yet because it's locked. So let's go in here. Right. I need two of my dead worms. I need to fill it uh, with this one. And 
this one. Right, back upstairs. Get in the lift. Back to the office. Ah, running into walls. That's Domino. Absolute prick. Nah, fuck you. I'm going to my office. Might not be as nice as yours, but it's got style. Well, sort of. Anyway, back to what we were doing. Right. Let's open that. Now we need those two tubes. Look up below. There's one. And where's the other one? Off you go. Bye. <laughs> That doesn't sound good. No, it doesn't. Run! Wasn't you! Quick! Server's down again. What else is new? I know, I broke it! Right, yo. Ah, get it. Not that door. Over here, thank you. Right. Will you go in the... Thank you, Manny. Right, so he's repairing the door. Not repairing the door, sorry, repairing the machine. I need to use the door. I need to lock it. I've just locked an open door. Strange. You have, Manny. It's symbolically compelling. Now we leave. Oh, not again. Fire! Ah, 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 ah. You trying to blow this joint sky high? That's a magnesium compound fire extinguisher. Spray that on this packing foam and we'll both be riding the giant Roman candle out of here. What? Why would they put something so dangerous in here? I guess they didn't expect this room to be full of hazardous waste. Fair enough. I got a fire extinguisher anyway. Nope. I ain't blowing nothing up. I just like to break things. Good enough for government work. Shut the door. Yeah. Right. Let's see if we can find Manny a good message. We need a card stop the messages going down the tube. So that's what we need the playing card for. Mercedes Colomar, client number 9308, blah, 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 died of chicken pox, time of death, yada, yada, yada. Aha, positive attributes, volunteer time, reading stories to dying children. That's good, that's really good. I think you're it, Mercedes Colomar. I think you're the one for me. Damn right. Gladys, are you loco? What got into you? Hey, hey, oh, that's a car. car. Oh, yeah. And it's even better company now. I'm in. <laughs> ah, bye, Domino. Eat our dust. Dias. You're not the nurse? No. You're not here to give me my medication? No, but I am here to ease your pain. Guess they couldn't save me, huh? No, but there's still a chance you could save me. 
That's a lot of responsibility, Mr. Calavera. What makes you think I've been all that good? Miss Colomar. Meche, please. Meche. I can see it in your face and in your file here, where it says you're entitled to a first-class ticket to... Nowhere? What? Did I do something wrong? Not according to your bio. It was spotless. At least the part I read was. I'm not sure I like the implication, Mr. Calavera. Hmm. We need to check that she's, uh, that she's on the level here. See if she's done anything that would uh, dent her record. Anything about your past you haven't told me? Quite a bit, considering I've told you nothing. Did you kill much when you were alive? Very little. Never killed anybody? I have to confess, I never killed anybody. Not even a teensy bit of killing? Maybe I just wasn't trying hard enough. Were you a big shoplifter? Well, they accused me of it once. Really? But it wasn't my fault. That puppy followed me out of the store. Oh. Uh. Mean to animals? Oh, no. I love animals. Once, when I was volunteering at an animal shelter, I... Just stop right there. Ever cheated on your taxes? I've never paid taxes in my life. Aha! Uh -huh. I've never made enough money to be taxed. You know, it's mostly been all volunteer work. Uh-huh. Ever cheated on your husband? Mr. Calavera, there's no ring on my finger. There's no skin on it either. I guess you'll just have to trust me then. Litter? Oh, Manny, is that the best you can do? He's work with me, Michi. Give me some dirt. Well, I could do something bad right now, if that would help. Wouldn't count. Sorry. I give up. Don't say that, Manny. Excuse me, but I have to go straighten this mess out. Sorry to be so much trouble, Mr. Calavera. It's no trouble, but please, call me Manny. I like you, Meche. We'll get this sorted. I'm sorry I let you down, Manny. Aww. Right, we better go and see the boss. Find out what's going on. Hey, funny bones! In my office! Now! You vandalized company property in order to obtain secret information so you could take your illegally modified company car and your unregistered driver and run Domino here off the road! All in order to steal a client from her legitimate agent. There's nothing legitimate about this place. You give all the good clients to Domino. Manny, Damn now right. I'm embarrassed for you. You've you embarrassed tell him, Manny. the whole office. I'm going to call the woman in here so you can apologize to her yourself. Ava, send in Ms. Colomar, please. She left about 15 minutes ago, sir. She said she had a long walk ahead of her and she wanted to get started. Walking? Oh, shit. She had a ticket on the number nine. Why does she think she has to walk? That's the best package I could find for her. <laughs> now you see why I give all the good clients to Domino. That woman was a saint and a shoe in for a double end ticket that she's not going to get because you just couldn't find it. And now, because of your little stunt, she's out there on her own, walking by herself through the petrified forest, facing the demons of the underworld alone and unprotected. This is her reward after a lifetime of hardship and public service? Her destiny stolen by some overreaching salesman looking for a fat commission he didn't deserve! Get in there and stay put until the boys downtown tell us what they want done with you. Someone's gonna take the fall for this, Calavera, and it ain't gonna be me! Right, money your bones. Mechie's gone for a long walk, a four-year long walk. We've got to find her and get her back to try and clear your name and get her on the number nine, get you the good client so you can get out of here. Right, first things first, let's get out of this room. Doesn't open. Oop. I don't see anyone out there. Hey, is anybody out there? So, Manuel, have you thought about what you have done? Getting out, about getting, getting out and getting even. That's it. The only way out, Manuel, is to be taken back in. If you are truly still loyal to this company, declare it loudly. The management might hear and stick you right back in their fold. Balls to that. The DOD runs a crooked game, and I intend to prove it. You would do that? That could cause this agency a lot of trouble. 
I'm gonna blow the lid off this place. Young man, you are an enemy of the Department of Death. Welcome to the club. Salvador Limones and guest. Where are you taking me? To the headquarters of the LSA. LSA? The Lost Souls Alliance. We're a small group, Manuel. We're always looking for new soldiers. To do what exactly? We need help in our intelligence unit. You know Eva, of course. Manny. I was once a reaper like yourself, Manuel. But I uncovered a web of corruption in our beloved Department of Death. I have reason to Explains believe that the Bureau of Acquisitions is cheating the very souls it was chartered to serve. I think someone is robbing these poor, naive souls of their rightful destinies, leaving them no option but to march on a treacherous trail of tears, unprotected and alone, like babies, Manuel, like babies. What's your evidence? That's where you come in, Manuel. Or should I call you Agent Calavera? Manny suits me fine. I'm not looking to join any military organization, Sal. I just want my job back so I can work off my time and get out of this dump. Well, you won't even be able to get out of this city without my help. Which means, of course, you won't be able to find that woman and you'll never get your job back. When you're ready to join the cause, Manuel, come talk to me. We might be of some use to each other. Well, I need help getting out to find her, so I need to talk to Salvador Le... Salvador Limones, I think he said? I think that's his name. I think I've said it right. Okay, I'm in. What do I have to do? I'm going to build an underground army of souls to fight the injustice I have seen in El Marro. Communication will become vital as the Lost Souls Alliance spreads out. We'll need messengers we can trust. You want me to be your messenger? No, Manuel. Our numbers are small and our agents are too valuable to risk that sort of work. History shows only one messenger to be of use to a cause like ours. Carry your pigeons. If I grab some pigeons off the roof, will you let me go? No. I need to raise them from birth, Agent Calavera. I need you to bring me their eggs. Okay. You're keeping me here because you need the eggs? Why are you still here, Calavera? Go get me an Air Force before it hatches. I'm off. Farewell, Agent Calavera. And viva la revolucion! Right, he wants eggs. So what you're not really want? a secretary. I'm a spy, Manny. Well, that's the last time we use that temp agency. Eva, you gotta get me out of town. They're gonna sprout me. You can't leave, Manny. We need access to the DOD computer network if we're ever gonna find out what's going on. And we can't access without a salesman like you. The computer IDs you when you log on. How does it do that? Fingerprints? I don't have any. Your teeth, Manny. Haven't you ever noticed your computer scanning your teeth when you log on? I thought that was just a power search. We need your teeth, Manny. We can't let you go. Sorry. Right. Fight so... a good fight, babe. You need my teeth. Short of, short, short of knocking mine out, we're going to have to try and get you a copy. Right. Okie dokie. I can't go back in the front door of the DOD. That's it. But I can go in the garageway, which is how I, I came out with Salvador. And there's nobody here. There's no risk of getting caught. So, But I still can't go up the lift to the office. Let's go up this rope. Not picking that up. It's Oops, locked. One. The drapes are drawn. Dom and Dom must still be in there. Well, I'll just sneak by. I am not here. Mm. Dom's office is empty. Empty? Sorry, I cut you off there. In we go. Let's see what he's got. No use for it. Oh, let's have a drink. Can I have a drink? I thought I could. There we are. Lovely. Right, let's have a look at his desk drawers. What the? It looks like a glowing hunk of coral. 
Thank you very much, Domino. And the other thing I need is up here on the shelf. But the only way to get it down, give the punch bag a good whack. There we are. Ugh, Domino had this no. in his mouth. Yeah, that's his teeth guard, his mouth guard for when he's boxing. So that'll help us get an impression, but we need something to well, make the impression with. So, and we still need the eggs. Now, there's a pigeon there, so we can just see it there. So we need to get on the roof. So, so we've got the other end of this rope, but there's nothing on the end of it. So we need an anchor, which is where... Coral comes in handy. I wonder if that's how are. Domino meant it to be used. Probably not, but who cares? One money. Way nice shot. Right. Careful, money. Hello, pigeon. Don't mind me. There's the eggs. Right. Nice pigeons. Good pigeons. Aren't you lovely? Can I have some of your... Okie dokie. Right. Need to distract you there. Where's my dingo? Maybe that will Thank scare you, Bingo. them. Eventually. Ah, but we're going to lure them in. Feeding time! There you are, pigeons. And off they pop. Yeah, beat it, you lousy little ledge pickers. You tell them, Manny. Although you were shit scared of them a minute ago. Right, you must let's come get a couple with of me, young ones, for I am the Green Reaper. Yeah, yeah, nice. Pop them away so we don't break them. Oop. I've only had one drink. He's all over the place. Right. Now we need to get in um, an impression of his teeth. So we need to pop back in the garage for that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that was weird. Hey, what did they do with Glottis? Hey, where is Glottis? I hope he's all right, bless him. Ooh, ick. It came out like soft serve ice cream, but judging by the smell, I think it's auto body filler. Nice. Well, let's give it a whirl with the mouth guard. Fill a dent. Good for dents, great for dentures. Wow, that made a perfect impression yeah. of my teeth and looked quite a chalky aftertaste, too. Why have we got taste buds? Eh, whatever. Right. Let's go back to the hideout. Agent Calavera and two guests. Give the eggs to Salvador. 
Check these babies out. Excellent, Manuel. With these, I can breed an entire army of winged messengers. Our revolution can spread now across the land, carried on the shimmering wings of justice, thanks to you. Agent Calavera. I myself would also like to spread across the land. But you can't. We need your dental work here to access the computer. I am sorry, but freedom has its price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need the other half of the payment. Here you go. Manny, this looks like a perfect impression of your teeth. We can use this as a mold to make a fake set of teeth and get into the computer system that way. Good work, soldier. You are a friend of the revolution, Agent Calavera. And now, let me be of service to you. You must go to the town of Rubacaba, my friend. If you want to find your lost soul. How do you know where she is? I don't. But everyone who wants to get to the Ninth Underworld must cross the Sea of Lament. And therefore must go to Rubacaba to get passage on a ship. As long as you get there before she does, you'll find her. But it may be quite a wait. I'll wait as long as it takes. Manuel, are you in love with her? Love? Love is for the living, Sal. I'm only after her for one reason. She's my ticket out of here. And we're out of the city. On the edge of the... Uh, that was some forest? tunnel. Can't I'm all the way to the edge of the petrified oh, dear, forest. Yeah. Is my friend. Why are you crying? Manny? Oh, Manny! They fired me! <laughs> me too, buddy. You don't understand, Manny. I was created just to do that job. It's the only thing that makes me happy. It's like they reached into my chest and pulled out my heart and threw it into the woods to... Neat trick. Gladys, what have you done? Oh, Gladys. Gotta get that back. Oh. Uh. Well, he doesn't look any worse for wear, except we can't wake him up. He's fine. Right, let's get his heart back for him. There it is. Oh, no. Ooh, ick. Shoot! Go on, bugger off. Right, so we need to get his heart back for him in order to wake Glottis up. But we're going to do that next time. So thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe, leave any comments in the comments box below, and I'll see you for part two. Until then, tatty bye!